Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy, where we're doing the post-game. A lot of purple coins, and also the engine room, because I had so many stars at that point I finished the game before even entering that dome. First stop, the Space Junk Galaxy, because with this I'll have completed the fountain. And the more complete domes I have, the happier I am as a person. Ah yes, purple coin spacewalk. Maybe this is what I was thinking of when I was thinking of long jumping platforms. Because it kind of feels like, yeah, the layout is a little bit different. But you can long jump to... Ooh, I was not expecting that to be like that. I was expecting a slight gap, but not that much of one. Um, well, no, I can long jump that, and grab this one, and there were some over to the right here. And now I have to go back left if I can, because there's more coins I missed to the left. Yeah. How far left do I need to go? Okay, I could have long jumped that. I have basically a minute. I knew I'd missed some towards center. Uh, how many though? Where have I missed groups? Here's one. The last one, I think. Yeah, and it was somewhat efficient because I had to backtrack a little. And then, of course, you need to backtrack to the start. Yeah, I did it somewhat efficiently by looping around the right and such. Loop. 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 Yep, cool. Anyway, I did it. And that means that the fountain is complete. Are the comets still around? They're not. Great. Meaning I have to climb back up to the engine room every time I want to do another purple coin comet. Uh Eeny meeny miny. We'll go with gold leaf. Gold leaf? Funnily enough, is just an autumn version of Honey Hive, so, uh, really it's, it's not that, uh, unique of a galaxy. It does have a few new bits, and also it's mirrored. Really just feels like Luigi's version of the same galaxy. See, that was a joke because, uh, the star bits, they, they had an L for Luigi instead of the M for Mario that's normally over there. And I should probably speak to the bunny that the intro showed me. Hey, bunny. I'm looking for blue star chips with my brothers, we haven't found any. Okay. So I'm just looking for star chips then. Shouldn't be too hard. Can these guys ascend at all? Doesn't look like they can. Well, there's one. See ya guys. And there's another one over here, which I'm sure there's a puzzle to reach, but I can easily skip it by being myself. 
Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay. Oh, a uh, sling star over here to this one. Please don't spray me. I would like to keep being me. And being a bee is a very fun thing to be because it means I can fly around certain obstacles that would be harder to, you know, get past otherwise. Oh. Am I meant to be up here? Probably not, and I can't believe I wasted that. Is this... is this just this room like it normally is? Just star bits for killing boulders? I don't care. I don't care, game. And I wasted my bee suit. So I'm just gonna long jump off this way and hope there's more chips around here. Because this is kind of the area of the map I haven't been yet. Well, that's pointless and kind of sucks that I fell down there, but whatever. Hello again, you. Just get out of my way, man. No. Bad. So, I'm pretty sure there's one, like, up the tree, or there's a star that involves climbing up the tree, or maybe that's just in Galaxy 2 when you have a Yoshi who can float up the tree. You know, maybe it's one, maybe it's the other, maybe it's both. I truly do not know or remember. But there is one more star chip. And I can't turn the camera to face the tree to check from here. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. Then what am I missing? It could just be in the box next to the waterfall there. Yeah, because there's a bunny there, and the bunnies are generally close to uh, one of the star chips, so... Yep. There we go. And now we have pull stars. I wonder if there's a way I can cheese this so I don't have to go back to the start, if I just look at him from the right angle. But I, uh, don't think it's gonna work out that way. Can I at least cheese hitting the second one first? Yeah. At least I have that. And away we go! Hmm. Think you can catch me, boyoing? I think I can, actually. But, uh, you know, maybe a little annoying. I can definitely take him out from a distance with one of those blocks to stun him. But I do also think I can catch up normally as well. Oop. Well, that didn't work quite how I wanted. Hang on. Yeah. Well, that didn't work either. Fine, I'm just gonna hit the button. Now there's maze walls and the bunny's whole running path is blocked. Bluing, you got me. All right, then take this. Thank you, Bunny. I would have liked to, uh, not had to have done that, but whatever. It works. And I got to star. Yahoo. Now, 
bet the purple comets are back. They sure are. We'll go kitchen before bedroom. Just to do things in basically in order. Now why would I use that teleporter pad when I can long jump and not be lined up correctly? You know what, I should have thought that through better. But hey, at least I can do that. Beach Bowl Galaxy Purple Coin Comet? Hmm, I wonder what it could be called. It's called... Beach Combing for Purple Coins. Do I get a metal detector? Nope, I'm just gonna have to run around and collect them all. And this is another one where it's, it's just gonna be me, you know, doing the thing. Just walking around normally, picking up everything. May as well get everything that's on, like, above water level to start with. Use the right stick to get a good look around. Uh, I'll consider it, penguin friend. And now we're gonna jump for this vine and carefully swing around in circles to get these purple coins and then swing around in a major circle for those. Pardon me, sir. I'm just gonna... Oh, well, I did actually want to bounce on your head for comedic effect, but, uh, didn't quite work the first time. Also, am I able to get up this without going the other way? I am. Excellent. But I would have had to come this way anyway for these purple coins. So, you know, was it really worth the bit? I guess it was. I... yep. And... oh, the chest to hit with the shell over there is gone. Guess I don't have to go that way. Wait, is that a spring mushroom? I haven't encountered those in the level you're normally meant to encounter those yet. You transformed into Spring Mario. Press the jump button at the right time to get a higher bounce. Ah, I see. The water detransforms the spring as well. I guess the idea is that it rusts. Hey, 69 purple coins. Nice. Anyway, we've got to get up here. Because there's bound to be, wow, a lot more purple coins. Who would have guessed? Are there any on top of that tree? Hang on, timing. There are. Oh dear. I don't like being Spring Mario on top of a tree. It feels like a very precarious platform for something like that. You know, maybe I should just hit the water and de-transform. Cause you know, this power-up isn't as bad as everyone makes it out to be, but it's still not great. <laughs> Hang on. I also need to check if there are purple coins on that one. Okay, there's not. In that case, there's only two more that are up here, and those are near the water's edge, so I'm just gonna, you know, get them normally. Apart from the part where that counted as a slope for whatever reason. And now... I've got to take it again, because there's more trees I couldn't get on otherwise. Come on. Come on now. 
Just towards the coin. Thank you. And there's also on top of these. Do I really have to do it this way to reach those two? Can I not find a way to... I can probably find a way to just walk along that tree. Yeah, I can just walk on this one. But also... Is there one that I miss? I can long jump from a different tree to make it up to that one. I don't need the spring anymore. I can do this! Good. Then there was one coin that I saw nestled into a corner over here. Hmm. Only five underwater. I would have expected a lot more than that. But oh well. Easy enough then. Just the one here. Oh. Okay, I missed it. I'll circle back around. That's also that one. I'll circle back around. And there's this one. I will circle back around. At least I got that one the first time. And that one. Wait. Purple coins don't count for air like gold ones do? Well, that's upsetting. Also, there's a singular coin I've missed down here. Hmm. It's probably over here by where the eels normally are. Oh. Not quite there. If I go up a bit more before I turn around so I can get a look from above. It's not on top of that pillar either. Hmm. Oh. Nestled right in the corner there, huh. And with that, another purple coin star is ours. Da 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 da. Ba -ba -da. And let me guess, now I have to go back up to the engine room? Because these comets seem to only appear every, like, second time you get a star, you know? They're not gonna stick around. Yep. Okay. Suit yourself, buddy. In that case, on to the second star of Gold Leaf. Cataquack to the skies. Oh no. You know what? They're better in this game than they are in Sunshine. I said it. I mean, to be fair, you know, the late game of Sunshine was pissing me off, and that's why I went skipped ahead to Galaxy. But I do know it was the late game, like, I can definitely finish Sunshine in an episode or two. It wouldn't take me that long, but it would be frustrating. Come on. Thank you, Cataquack. God, so much more useful in this version. Lift me this way. Thank you. And now I can ground pound this. That's just star bits. Okay, but what's up here? It's the same as it was before, just optional stuff. Um, oh, I guess I was meant to be going for this launch star the whole time. Okay. 
Hmm. Oh no. The launch star shot me directly into a pool of water. But the cataquacks helped me out there. Speaking of the cataquack, I need to uh, bring it to a certain point to get me to my next planet here. Okay. What's the most efficient way to bring it here? Oh, just follow the wooden path, I guess. Okay, Cataquack. Over here, buddy. And over here, buddy. And over this way, my friend. Not over that way. My bad. Over this way. Good thing you happened to walk the correct way to begin with. And right here. Thank you. Now this side had star bits. Oh, oh boy. More cataquacks to definitely get in my way and not, you know, assist me. Haha. -ha. And there's the star. I just need a bee, Mario. And to be, uh, launched into the air. Need to be launched in the air to get the bee suit to get up to where I need to be. Hello, Cataquack. This way, friend. And up we go. Thank you, Cataquack. Now I need you to fling me up this Jenga tower over here. And thank you, buddy. Also, did you see that sick dodge of that beetle enemy? Yeah, I'm I'm pretty cool, aren't I? Let's just stay away from those. Yep. Well, that flower platform was getting further away from me, and I nearly didn't realize. However, that. Oop. Is that star done? And with that star done, I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye.